Hello, everyone. It's a great pleasure to have this chance to report on the development of a digital fishing trap analysis training module and some preliminary data from several blind tested participants to you today. Fishing trap thermochronology is a temperature, temperature sensitive radiometric dating technique, which uses different parameters in minerals, mostly apatite, obtained from an analytical sequence. Data obtained can be used for inverse modeling to reconstruct the thermal and the tectonic history of the Earth's uppermost crust. However, the measurement of these essential parameters required a significant amount of manual operation and assessment, such that the human element may influence data quality and the reproducibility. Over the last decade, several interlaboratory experiments have been carried out to investigate the reproducibility of fishing track data. The results show here a high degree of scatter due to differences in laboratory instrument and or procedures used. And this can also be traced up to the human element, including training or measurement decision making. In response to these findings, we have developed a digital training module based on our laboratory training routine. And this module is made possible by Fishing Track Studio, a cross-platform software suite tailored for digital micros microscope controlled and the image stack acquisition, using the first component, TrackWorks. A second component, FastTracks, enables ZStack images captured in TrackWorks to be viewed on a PC in a similar way to viewing under a real microscope. And users can perform image analysis automatically or manually, offline, anywhere and anytime. So the digital module is a simplified version of a comprehensive analytical routine developed in our lab. Originally, trainees need to be trained in sample preparation, track identification, and challenge 20 unknown samples by capturing images of selected grains and the lenses using TrackWorks, and then carry out laser ICPMS analysis afterwards. And the semi-automated image analysis of images captured is carried out along with previous practice to produce essential data for age calculation and the uh, thermal modeling. Throughout the course, data obtained from each stage and their reproducibility against the result from senior analyst is constantly reviewed. So the digital training module developed simplifies the training process and involves three main components. The first component is a series of grain and the confined track lens images. They are grouped into four sections and each serves different training purpose. A second, a secondly, a folder contains recommended uh, analytical solutions, and these files have been examined by at least two experienced analysts, and the results were reproduced well with published data where applicable. And thirdly, a list of recommended reading and, out, and online resources is provided for trainees to study at their own pace. By including a mixture of captured images of suitable and unsuitable uh, grains, grain selections can be executed even without access to a microscope or sample mount. And this package is stored in a cloud platform for easy access worldwide and is ready for distribution. What, we, uh, what have we included in this module? The two most commonly used appetite standard and a further five appetite with distinct chemical composition and were obtained from a variety of geological settings. And the two of these samples were used in previous published interlaboratory studies and they can be used by the trainees for evaluating their measurements. And we are planning to add more samples as the module evolves. So far, this module has been blind tested by six participants in three different labs with different levels of uh, analy uh, analytical experience from totally inexperienced to an expert level. So as a preliminary assessment, we compare single grain data for each sample and all grain data were normalized to their corres uh, co com corresponding solution values for easier comparison across different analysts. 
and data present hereafter were derived from participant prior to having access to solution files. Note that there's strictly no correct solution, as there will always be real differences due to analyst observations and the decision making during analysis. However, there are incorrect solutions which can be recognized as departures from the widely observed patterns. A summary of comparison of um, some key para parameters. This image-based approach makes it possible to reveal any tendency uh, an analyst might have to overestimate or underestimate a parameter compared to fellow analysts. And data presented here show the Burgle uh, granodiorite appetite. And this appetite is one of the 20 reference samples used by our group over the last seven years and by Ketchum et al.'s 2018 interlaboratory studies as well. As a result, it is used as a flagship sample in particular to assess age reproducibility in this study. An overall agreement among an analysis derived from all participants in this study was very good. Reported ages are in agreement plus or minus two sigma with the published value. And Durango 4 is another sample treated as a flagship reference for length measurement. And all the reported data agree well with reported values. And when visiting the original measurement on the lens image, it was clear that this analyst underestimated the track lens by placing the measurement end in the incorrect position. And once this bias was identified, it could be readily corrected. The three students who have completed all components of this module have reported the time taken to com uh, complete this data acquisition per sample. For section one, grain selections and uh, section two, challenge unknowns, time spent ranges from 1.5 to 2.5 hours, while for section three, lens measurement, ranges from one to four hours. Overall, it would take about 30 hours in total for a trainee without any experience to complete the whole module. Given about eight hours a week workload, it is estimated that the practical part of this module should be able to be completed in one month. And this is sub uh, substantially less than would be required for conventional training. So, what we are presenting here is an image-based approach to deliver a traditionally labor-intensive training to analyze the computer. And by using a virtual microscope equivalent software, users can carry out the exercise anytime and everywhere. The goal is to provide training a user-friendly interface and the sufficient resources for self-learning and the self-assessment, and eventually to equip researchers with the confidence and the skills to produce reliable and reproducible analysis. And this image-based training approach also make it possible to reveal previously unrecognized anal uh, analyst decision-making patterns and biases. If you're interested in having access to this training module, please don't be hesitant to reach out to us. You can find us on melbournethermochronology.com or email me directly. And finally, I'd like to thank all the group members who have contributed to making the training module as it is now. Thank you.